Today we're looking at the 2015 Cross Year of the Goat fountain pen. It comes in this beautiful leather-like box. I don't know if you can pick up all the embossing on this box, but it's absolutely gorgeous. It's um, super dimensional. You can see it's kind of a padded uh, box here. Um, I don't want to say engraved, but stamped with the Cross logo both up top and here. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up or not, but really kind of cool these three goats here um, for the year of the goat fountain pen you can see in acrylic on the top that are um, bolted or attached to this box when you open that really thick lid you can um, take a look inside it has the pamphlet in the back for the 2015 year of the goat fountain pen and then you'll also see um, and I'll show you close-ups I guess that one just jumped out a little ad for their ink that they have that I don't know how you pronounce that satin ink I'm gonna guess and then the pen itself which I obviously had taken out it's better attached than that normally and a pen stand in acrylic which is super nice so let me show you that pen stand and the pen. I have some um, pictures of this on my website that show it up better or like let you see um, the actual stand more closely because it is acrylic and it doesn't show up very well on notebook paper but you can take a look and see that. And then inside of the box when I open this up you can kind of, I don't know if it'll pick that up, you just pull this lid down and that's where the pamphlet is. So in the pamphlet Year of the Goat just tells you more about the pen, um, you know, the Chinese Zodiac because it's in celebration of the new year and uh, basically gives you more information on the Year of the Goat, uh, what years people were born under that makes them uh, goats in the calendar, in the Chinese calendar or Zodiac calendar. And like I said, that little ink advertisement. When you pull up in, I can get rid of that ad. When you pull up in the, inside the box, um, there is a place, obviously the warranty information, and then underneath that, there's a place where you can see um, it would have had a converter and two cartridges. This was a loaner from Cross. I didn't buy this pen, so it didn't come with the converter and the cartridges in it. It um, So I used a Cross cartridges that I already had. So anyway, the acrylic pen stand is really pretty. I, I close up, I mean, I don't... Pictures can't really do it justice, or video, I guess. The pictures that I have on my site do it a lot more justice. But, oops, try not to break it. But you can see this This is really the piece de resistance. This is the reason you're going to buy this pen, is um, the body of it. Very flashy. Um, it's definitely not an understated pen by anyone's imagination. It has three goats engraved into the side um, that are in gold. And I believe, if memory serves, it was 14 karat gold, all of this engraving and all of the plating, 14 karat gold plating. You can also get a 24 karat gold brush finish where everything is gold and it's all, the entire pen is gold. There's no black lacquer finish like this one. I do like the body of the pen. You can see it kind of narrows down here um, and that allows it to post really solidly. And then it has a little bit of an hourglass shape or I guess a reverse hourglass where it's more bulbous in the middle and then um, tapered on either side. So anyway, when we unveil the nib, you can see it's a typical of cross, a slightly undersized nib, not um, anything to write home about in terms of size. It's an understated undersized. I guess that helps complement the fact that this is a super fancy pen and attention getting. Like I said, the three goats here. Um, the pen clip is usable, although it feels a little stiff um, when I'm working with it and it has the Chinese symbol, I'm guessing, at least I looked it up, the Chinese symbol for goat on the um, cap button here. So you can see that. And then inside the pen, like I said, I'm using just a cross cartridge that I had on hand. I actually syringe filled this with Quaco Black because that's just the ink that I had on hand. I wanted to use black ink on this. So this is not a cross black when you see the writing sample. But you can also use a standard uh, cross converter if you'd prefer and it comes in the box like I said mine just didn't um, this if memory yeah this is an 18 karat gold solid gold nib so um, let me get you a writing sample so you can check it out and you can also go to my website bestfountainpen.com and see lots of close-up pictures of the finish the nib everything um, again bestfountainpen.com it'll be in the um, notes at the bottom of the video 
All right, so here we go. By the way, this is a medium nib. In Coweco black ink. It does every once in a while railroad a bit. Um, not overwhelmingly so, but you'll catch it every once in a while. So you can see it writes pretty well. The feed keeps up pretty well. Um, I guess if I turn it so you can actually see it. And all in all, a good pen. Um, don't make fun of my grandpa's table. My grandfather actually made this table in wood shop back in the 50s, so it's pretty beat up, but I, I use it because it's sentimental. So anyway, I really, um, I like this pen. I think it's gorgeous. It's definitely not um, an understated pen. It, it, it's a attention getting for sure. People were complimenting me on it when I brought it to work. So anyway, good pen, um, writes well. Like I said, it railroads every once in a while, but it, it is smooth They're on this particular model. It had one catch on the upstroke that I could feel when I was writing. Um, obviously on the upstroke, it would catch just ever so slightly. So not perfect, but definitely, um, definitely a fun pen to use and it definitely makes you feel special. So anyway, thanks for taking some time to watch this pen, the 2015 Year of the Goat Fountain Pen by Cross. And you can check more on my website at bestfountainpen.com.